Hello and welcome to Astro DIY. Here I want to show and discuss a number of building projects and do-it-yourself solutions all around observing the night sky. Maybe you already have years of experience in the field of amateur astronomy and astrophotography or are completely new to the hobby. In any case, there are a lot of nifty tricks and weekend projects that can aid you greatly in exploring space and all its amazing astronomical objects, from the moon to planets, larger star fields up to galaxies and nebulae. Should you be new doing astronomy on your own? Once again, welcome. You most certainly have an astounding journey ahead of you. Maybe you already have invested in your first telescope and are a bit overwhelmed how to operate it most effectively. No worries, you will most certainly get better at it, and there are many helping tutorials available online. You may also have noticed that there is an incredible number of additional gear and accessories available. Not only eyepieces and finder scopes, but power supplies, filters, cameras, focusing masks, not to speak of the countless adapters for mounting some of these items to your telescope. Even the cheapest available items for one specific task, like heating your telescope to avoid fogging up of the optics, can be quite pricey though. Not all of the components and accessories for observing can be reasonably made by hand for everyone, of course. Grinding telescope mirrors, for example. But in case you have about a weekend to spare and you are not afraid of using some basic tools, maybe a soldering iron, then you have come to the right place. I myself at least draw a lot of satisfaction from crafting something with my hands, which then can get put to good use. So where to start? Some relatively easy project which helps out beginner and pro astrophotographer alike is the so-called Batonov mask. To put it simply, this is a sheet of metal, plastic or cardboard that you put on the opening of your telescope or your camera that helps to find the precise focus. The used pattern of Batonov masks act as diffraction gratings that produce a diffraction pattern when observing a bright point source, i.e. a star. The different orientation of these patterns create three diffraction patterns, or spikes, which all intersect at the same point should the optical system be in precise focus, otherwise this X pattern does not match up with the longer straight line. Making such a pattern for your telescope is quite easy, but requires a steady hand and a bit of patience. Crafting a mask by hand is more worthwhile for larger diameter telescopes, since they are still easy to make while a commercial solution costs more than for smaller diameters. First you have to find the required diameter of the mask, which should be easy. You can download a PDF template for your telescope size from the link in the description, which leads to the website deepskywatch.com, which provides some excellent articles for building astronomy-related gear. Should you have a small diameter telescope or telephoto lens for your camera, you can also consider employing a 3D printer to make a mask. Again, there are a number of templates already available on websites like Thingiverse. Ordering a 3D print online can cost about the same as buying the real product, but using a printer for example at a friend's house already cuts down the cost significantly. To give you a reference how much a readily available mask is when buying it new, larger ones like I would need for my 20cm or 8 inch telescope are in the range of about 30 to 40 euros. Not a big save in the end, but it is a fun project nevertheless. When you have printed out the template, we need a material to build the mask itself from. This could be relatively thick cardboard like I used, or a plastic sheet. You could even use a thin layer of wood that can be machined using a laser cutter if you have access to one. Furthermore, we need some sort of frame that holds the mask. I used these thin plates of wood. Besides these things, you only need some glue and a sharp X-Acto knife for cutting out these patterns. All of that you can easily get from your local DIY and arts and crafts supply shop. Now we lay the template on the mask material, clamp both together using paper clips for example, and start cutting out the white parts. These lines need to be very straight, so I recommend to use a ruler or edge of some metal sheet for guidance. Just take your time with this step. By the way, I left a bit out in the center because my telescope has the secondary mirror in this place anyway, and it gives the mask a bit more stability. 
Then the frame, which needs to be a bit larger than your telescope diameter, has to be cut out if it is not already. I did this using an electric jigsaw, sending off the frame afterwards. Take some glue and combine the mask with both sides of the frame. Now we only need to build some sort of cardboard loop or piece of wood that keeps everything in place. Measure out the circumference of your telescope and make the loop accordingly. Attach some flaps to the loop and glue to the mask. Let everything dry and here we are. Using cardboard for your build is relatively easy and makes for a great first DIY project. I have to mention that cardboard, of course, tends to absorb moisture from the air, especially at night. It may get a bit wobbly with longer exposure. For that reason I keep my mask in a bag or in the car when I'm outside. But for me it worked great so far and I'm curious if you have already built a baton of mask yourself or intend to. Alright, that's it from me for now. Please consider subscribing if you are interested in some other Astro DIY building projects that I have lined up. Thank you very much for watching and clear skies!